just how much fun can you really have with a tiny whoop? Now, if you'd asked me this five years ago, I'd have probably said, they're okay for indoors, but they don't fly as well as a five-inch quad. Sure, they're cheap and small, but the fun and novelty factor soon wears off. But this is 2024, and things have moved on. A lot. This Beta FPV 75 Pro, despite having ducks and a bit of a floppy old frame, flies so well, I just can't wait for the batteries to charge up and then get out again. It's fast and agile and doesn't have any of the weird ducted whoop characteristics like your washout and super wiggly prop wash. It'll do any acro that you're up to doing. It's light, it's quiet and it's safe and you can fly it pretty much anywhere without annoying or hurting anyone. And it's just so much fun. Hello and welcome to the World of Luck channel. Now this 75 Pro version has been around for quite a while now, but I decided to get hold of one and try it out. Now the Pro version's got these 1102-22000 kV motors. You've got 45mm tri-blade props, they're gem fans. It's got a 350mW VTX. There's a Beta FPV C03 1200 TVL camera. And it's got an F4 all-in-one 5 amp flight controller and ESC board on here. Now this only weighs 31 grams. 46 if you add battery. And if you fly this hard you'll get about four minutes of fun or if you're a little bit more gentle you can easily get five to six minutes. This is the ELRS version and it's serial not SDI and that makes it very easy to bind using Wi-Fi in the regular way. You just power it up, wait about a minute until the receiver LED flashes fast, and that means its Wi-Fi is active, then attach to the Express RTX hotspot on your PC, use the LRS configurator to enter your bind phrase, and it's bound. Binding SDI receivers is always very frustrating and unreliable, so Beta FPV have done exactly the right thing here, and you can be up and flying in no time at all. The price on this is $110 for this analog VTX version with 2.4 gig ELRS receiver. And there is an SDI FreeSky version if you want it. Also, if you want to save yourself another half a gram or so, there's a light version and that doesn't have these connectors for the wires on the motors they're soldered direct to the board and if you want there's a walk snail or an hd zero version available for 300 dollars. but for me this super cheap analog version is perfect for just having fun and going out flying now the frame and the ducks on this pretty much indestructible and i've done a lot of flying with this and crashed into a lot of things but if you do break something, they're all available on the Beta FPV website. The 5 amp ESCs on this are flashed with Blue Jay, which is a good choice now that BL Heli's gone. And I particularly like Blue Jay anyway. It comes with a couple of these 550 milliampere hour 1S batteries that have got the BT 2.0 connector on them. And I recommend buying another few. I got four extra for about $23 and that'll give you about 30 minutes of hard flying in total. And I always use this Vifly Whoop Store 3 charger while I'm out flying. I can be charging this up whilst I'm flying. Keeps me going for a lot longer. The factory tune on this is rather good. You can fly it outdoors with absolutely no problems but it's probably a little bit too fast if you're a newbie and you want to fly it indoors. They've clearly spent a lot of time tweaking the tune to get it right, and you'll have no problem doing acro, and it doesn't suffer any horrible yaw washouts, which is remarkable. So right out of the box, you've got a great flying whoop to suit most pilots. But for me, 
there's a little bit of bounce back on the roll axis, but the pitch and yaw were absolutely spot on. So I decided to give it a bit of tweak. Unusually, this F4 flight controller has eight meg of black box memory, which just makes tuning so much easier. Looking at these black box logs, there's a lot of noise between 75, maybe, up to about 400 hertz, which is most likely just that flexi frame. So, I've tweaked the dynamic notch to cope with that. I've upped the Q factor here and made the minimum frequency 100 hertz and the maximum frequency 400 hertz. And if we look at the logs after that, you can see that's effectively not all that frame noise down very nicely. This is the tune that Beta FPV provided on the 75 Pro. They've clearly spent quite a bit of time on this and it does fly quite nicely, but that bounce back on roll is just annoying me a little bit. So if we look at Profile 2, which is my modified tune, so to counter this bounce back on roll, we want to keep the PD balance the same. But if you increase the damping up to about 1.7 and then take the pitch damping down to 0 0.85, 0 0.9, something like that, you've effectively added more determ to the roll. And that actually gives you more roll damping, but it keeps the PD balance the same. And also for whoops, I take the dynamic damping off completely. I don't think it really has that much effect. And I've cranked the master multiplier right up. And there's links to my modified tune in the comments below. If you look at this now, the roll, pitch and your step response is pretty much perfect. You'll find this makes the 75 Pro run a little bit louder when you're out flying, which is down to the overall increased D-term damping, but the motors are still running cool. I'm only an average pilot, but this does everything I'm capable of doing and it's capable of doing it very well. And this has got me sort of thinking, this Whoop is a great way to hone my skills. I can fly it anywhere, anytime, and just practice my acro moves. There's one problem that you can't get away from with these tiny Whoops. They're so small that if you lose them in long grass, you can spend ages trudging around looking for them. Now this has got D-Shot motor beeps, but because the motors are so small, it's not very loud. And I tend to like use something like these Vifly Drone Finder Minis on all my quads. Okay, it's an extra two grams, but at least I can find my whoop easily. But try as I might, I can't find any buzzer pads on this Beta FPV F4 board to solder to. And if you know better than me, then please let me know in the comments. I sort of feel quite open and vulnerable without a good self-powered drone finder. This is a remarkable little whoop and I've been flying it most days when it's not raining. It's a lot of fun and for about $130 for the whoop and six batteries it's great value. It's really quiet and it's safe so you can fly it pretty much anywhere and not bother anyone. They'll hardly even know you're there. Do let me know your thoughts on this great little tiny whoop in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And if you're on Facebook or Instagram, you can follow me there as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.